President Trump, uh, Peter Seller, uh, Schiff, okay. Peter Schiff okay. also said this, and all banking mm. and even IMF. So they are all canceled, mm. but what they are trying to work on is actually the digital currency. And this okay. has uh, nothing to do, have, this has nothing to do with the gold. Yeah, before we move on to that, yes. uh, nakita nga natin no, na hindi kayo ayon na magkaroon ng digital currency. Pero ito yung nakikita natin magiging pinaproject o ina-estimate natin na mangyayari yung pag-i-introduce ng tiyatawag na quantum financial system. So everything would become digital na. In fact, we are already using some of these digital products to our, to our convenience. No? Uh, Ito ay related na siyempre sa global currency reset because pag nagkaroon doon ng global currency reset, ang next move is to introduce digital money. Ano po ang posisyon ng Kingdom Pilipina Hacienda pagdating dito? Although na nakikita ko na, na tutunogan ko na, na yung inyong uh, objection at uh, dito sa sistema na ito, that's why na-maintain nyo, gumawa kayo ng sarili na itong uh, the certificate currency. Alam mo, mo, points Abili, global currency? Alam mo, uh, Ka Anton, it is not me who objected. It's really God. Because I only follow and under the guidance of God. And it is written in the scripture in Isaiah 16, 13. And God said, in three years, the wealth of Moab will come to poverty. And then you also can read it in Isaiah 17, 4, that the wealth of Israel will also be lost. So it is not my be that what they do in the world, what they should have done is to embrace sovereignty. This is actually the objective. My objective, I am not their enemy. They are the enemy of themselves. They are the enemy of themselves because the Illuminati is controlled by, by, the, by the black spirits, like the Pope, mm. the Queen Elizabeth, the, all mm. this Rothschild, the, the Cabos, mm. you know, and they want the, the greed that they have. They want to dominate the world where never God had given them right to dominate, that their time is up. So it has not, I, I have nothing to do with that. It is their choice. And whatever the world wants to do, I cannot, I cannot stop them. But God will stop them. The element will stop them. Now, realize this. What happened to this digital currency? Because it is written, if you can read in Revelation 11, my two witness. In that two witness, I just don't know the verse yet. But chapter 11, go back and read. And in three days, there will be a three days darkness. Now, what happened in this three days darkness? You know, there is the ring of fire. There is a big earthquake coming in our land and all over part of the world. So when there will be an earthquake, then there will be a tsunami. Then meaning, then there will be darkness. The light shuts off. The problem is in Revelation 16, 13. Now God will roll the scroll in the world. It's not right away, but slowly you can feel the crunch in the world. That the world, God is no longer present in the world because the Pope himself, Pope Francis, already declared that their God is Satan. And that Lucifer is also that Lucifer is also the son of God, which is absolutely wrong. If this is what the world now is declaring that their God is Satan and Lucifer is the son of Satan, then God has no room. God has no room in the world. And this is the reason okay. why I guess God created the new heaven and the new earth to save those who are waiting, to save those who want to lift themselves up, not to be part in the 666 or in the world, which is the TV 666, uh, 
the mark of the beast, RFID. Yes. So, paano niyo naman po nasabi na ito ay part of the agenda na ito ay mark of the beast na dahil ba sa ito ay naprotesay ng Biblia? Ah, first of all, yes. We are now, because we are now, let me read it. Can I read it? You like? It's only three verses. Okay. Oh, okay. Time. Yes. Oh, oh. Revelation 13. Revelation 13. Uh, 16. 16 to 18. Na number 666 is a month's name. And that month's name is TBM 666. TBM 666. Month's name. <laughs> Kaya yung RFID dahil yan sa sa monetary system na na-create nila in in the bilateral mind sphere which is TBM 666. Kaya iyan ang man's name. No serious po. Very serious. And I mean it and I will bout myself to that. Okay. Uh, may nakikita po ba kayong mga mechanisms na dapat namin maintindihan para, para maiwasan o mga dapat natin bantayan kapag ito ay eventually ma-introduce? Halimbawa, uh, sa national ID system, sinasabi, magkakaroon daw ng pondo na yung national ID system. Eventually, baka yun ay maging electronic wallet. Uh, may mga bagay pa tayo na dapat bantayan dyan. Yes. Uh, ito ba ay eh, magiging jumping board para Absolutely. meron talaga tayong malaking babantayan dyan. Alam ko hindi lahat maniniwala sa akin. It's fine. I will respect that. But it is also my duty to speak up truth. Kasi marami din dyan gustong marinig ang katotohanan. Paano sila makaalis dyan? Hindi kasi lahat makaalis. We are now, it's, it's very sad and I'm sorry and I know a lot of people will not like me. I'm not here to speak to you so you like me. I'm only here to speak truth. Now, ganito po iyan. Kasi, kaya nga, yung national ID is under federal, under federal NGO government, one world order, one world order po yan under the Vatican, under the Cabal, under the shadow government. Kaya, minamadali nila yung RFID National 666 Chinese. Ngayon dito sa atin, ang ating, ang ating Jews dito, Jewish, yung Jewish na ano, ay yung Chinese. But the real Jew is actually Jacob. Maharlika. Yan ang mga katotohanan. So ngayon, ang mangyari niyan, very important itong tanong mo, uh, Ka Anton. In order for the people not to be marked, the RFID 666, they have to transcend from the corporate citizen to the sovereign citizen. Kaya kailangan talaga nilang kumuha ng ID. Kumuha talaga sila and then they have to to put themselves in one community, private property rights, I will grant them the land, and then they consider yung membro at hindi. Kasi uh, ito ngayon ang umpisa ng palatuntunan ng Diyos sa new beginning. Kasi eh, sa new beginning. So ngayon, kung yung mga retirees, for instance, na nagtanggap sila ng ng uh, retirement fees, mawala na kasi ang pera. The paper money in the world will actually disappear. So they are creating an electronic currency. Dahil kung wala kang electronic currency, hindi ka nila mabayaran ng iyong, ang iyong sweldo, iyong retirement mo. Tingnan lang nila, nandiyan sa amin, ano, yung mga naka-retire, Pwede naman sila mag-elect eh. Kung magtrabaho sila, babalik sila magtrabaho in in the government of the sovereignty. Yung kanilang mga sweldo, in the past, mapalitan niya ng EU dollar. Hindi kailangan na kung mawala man pala yung EU dollar, basta they have to denounce. They have to denounce the RFID 666 kasi... Mm -hmm. 
Tataka ka na ng, ng 666 dito, then you will bound to hell for a thousand years yan. Very dangerous. Kaya nga sabi, uh, rich and poor, young and old, lahat yung mga taong yan will have the mark of the beast kung magpamarka sila. At they have the choice not to. Kaya ang and, uh, is... Pero, siyempre, uh, medyo mag-construed yung choice na yan. Mau-oblige sa karamihan dahil ako na una, uh, kulang na kaalaman. No? At uh, pangalawa, eh, sabi, hindi ka makakabili, hindi ka makakapasok sa sistema. You won't be employed. You cannot get employment. You cannot get the grocery kapag wala yan. So, papano po natin ito masasabiyo? Maka-counter. That's ito why, ito why ito na, kaya nga itong ginagawa ng staff. Hindi mag-issue tayo ng yes. kinatawag natin ng uh, certificate coming from your office. Ganun, ganun. People, so, have, mga, people have uh, to work overtime in searching truth. Kaya, thank you for Sir Drake Ascot and my staff that they are actually plugging in the apps where you can go search and find out truth and make that decision yourself. You have to make that decision yourself. Know your rights as a sovereignty and stand by it because we cannot be your babysitter. Know your rights and enjoy your rights. Stand up it. And then you, you have work to do. There is no such thing as anyone who adopts sovereignty is already protected under the rule of law of the new nation. So we cannot, I cannot, I cannot, di man ako makatulong uh, kaanton sa mga taong ayaw sumapi sa amin. Bawal din naman sa amin yan. Kaya, uh, yung chance na pita kong critical na implication dito sa RFID, eh, yung bang the ability of that device, that time thing, in you to control our minds, no? Yes. Mind control, and yeah. ito na rin yan. Nakakatakot uh, yan. Yung, ano yung mga associated the programs? Absolutely. And and remember the GMO that we ate genetically organ organism uh uh, modified organism, okay? Genetically modified organism. Itong mga GMO ito plus the electronic uh, frequency that is implanted mm. within, you will explode, you will die, you will be like zombie, and things yeah. like that. It's very mm. difficult. I don't know. Yeah, pag hindi ka nakabayad sa... sa will actually will rise with us. So we need people really to, 
to start moving forward. Kasi, ayan mga kagaya niyang purpose na yan, hindi na sila makakatanggap ng pera kung wala silang national entity. Now, realize this. Kumuha ka ng, ng RFID 666 so you get food in the table. Problem niyan, yes. Anton, yung four piece, mga retirees or whatever in banking system mo, what if kung ang electronic ang kuryente mamatay na wala na yun, anong nangyari? Ngayon wala ka na rin pera, di ba? Wala ka na rin pera? Yeah. So, uh, ano ang mga future plans o yung mga mitigating plans na kapag nangyari na nga ito, siyempre hindi kayo sa PFH, uh, sa Covering Nation, sa Covering Group, eh, hindi po yung mag-subscribe yan, definitely. So, paano ninyo ma-address? Kaya nga, uh, kaya may ground zero eh. Sa part ninyo i-address yung, yung commercial concern. Nakakaroon ba kayo ng economy with an economy or sariling ekonomiya, sariling... Yes. Kaya may ground zero kasi may transition tayo eh. We are actually moving in a mobilization and transition program on our new government. Kasi ang Pilipinas din, they are also moving on a transition. Nag-transition din ang corporate republic eh. From the, from the corporate republic of the Philippines to federal republic. Okay? So, ako naman, sovereign republic, and then here comes Palaon New Barangay, which is the 44 barangay, an entire region dito sa Lanao. Well, ang mga nito, no ID, no entry, kaya people has to file their application so they can be protected and be blessed. Uh, otherwise, yung wala, at meron silang 666 RFID, then the element will actually just kind of ma 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 maalis din sila eh. Kasi yung kanilang RFID 666, bawal din silang makikisama sa mga sovereignty. So, kaya ang, yun, ang sovereign nation, we created a private property community, kagaya niya uh, sa San Mateo ngayon. There will be, it will be a tax-free, walang buhis dyan, and it will be funded, we, we give the sovereign, uh, Royal Sovereign Crown Bank. We also have our own development bank that we develop first our own community. And then, of course, then the rest of the nation, like United States of America, what happened is once this money that they have will be returned to me, is the chance for them to get their grant and then borrow gold from the sovereign sovereignty, from the sovereign crown, so they can print their own gold dollar certificates too. So it's not just okay. us. So we can also embrace other nations who will endorse their uh, accept that they lose, they need their land grant. I definitely will give them their land grant. I cancel their debt, and also they can start to borrow the gold and create their own money. This is how it works. Okay, bago tayo magtapos, may final question dito, may tanong. May bintura ba ang KFH? Yes. Who owns the land owns the gold. That's why the federal, the federal has no gold. That's why don't uh, see me. Uh, Nandiyan sa inyong kahadiyero, sa bulk. Well, o yan eh, suhukayin pa. Okay, hindi ko, bakit ako maghukay? You know, ever since, I never do that. Ah, uh, yeah. Banco Central, like for instance, it's not either bank, it's somewhere else. It is in a different boat. Whatever the gold that is kept, anywhere in the world that belongs to the crown, that belongs to the sovereign crown. And that is actually written in the decision of civil case 957P. Who owns the land, owns the gold. Anywhere in, as long as they are within the archipelago and outside the nation, federation, federal, United Nation, it still belongs to the crown. So, okay. that's definitely very clear. Bago tayo magtapos, may mga final messages po kayo. 
na naikulit ko bitawan para sa ating mga panunod. Okay, first of all, I would like to thank you for the time that you have spent sharing yeah. our uh, uh, what happened, mm -hmm. kung ano mang nangyari sa ating mundo. At gusto ko rin magpapasalamat sa iyong mga listeners, sa iyong mga followers who really is enthused na sana malaman nila ang katotohanan. Uh, kasi ang pera na iniintay po nila ay wala na. Canceled na po. Collapse na po ang bangko ng buong mundo. Wala na po yung pera ang ina inasansam nyo po na makarating. Pero meron pa rin kayong kunting chance. Kasi when all this money, perhaps some money will be turned back to us. Isa uli yan sa Sovereign Crown Bank. Once it will be in the system of the Royal Sovereign Crown Bank, I will dispose this money directly to the people who actually help labor also in the rising of the nation. Maraming tulong ang maibigay ng Sovereign Republic of the Philippines through the Royal Sovereign Crown Bank when all those dead monies will be turned in to pay the service service debt of the sovereign nation. Yan, ibalik ko God sa inyo yan dahil yan ay maiksi na lang ang panahon. Those times, kaya kailangan susin natin, eh, tulungan nyo ko sana tayo magkakaisa. Sa layunin sa bagbansa, God and country, kasi ito yung sa inyo. Maraming salamat po at sana uh, nakatulong ang aking minsay sa iyong program taanton at ang sa mga local NGO government to please respect the DILG Silver Memorandum 2002-89. So we will have our peace. I give you your peace and you give us our peace. And this is all what I'd like to say and thank you very much. At maragab maraming salamat at magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat sa tagapag sa pagtagapagkinig. Uh, kami magpapalamat sa inyong lahat, sa inyong pagpakinig. At uh, kami uli makabalik sa programa mo, Ka Anton. Maraming salamat at magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. I'm truly honored that uh, kami ko'y na, na enrich sa aming uh, kaalaman. Uh, palalim ang palalim at kung yung pinako namin na hindihan ang uh, movement ng uh, Sovereign Republic of the Philippines at hindi pa po ito ang I look forward. Uh, I look forward to having you back in our show. Thank you very much. Magandang gabi. Godspeed, my kingdom, Filipina, at Shenda. Bueno, ilalatag mo na ang balik at pagpapay niya. At hanggang sa susunod na ang pagpapay, dito pa rin sa rin, si Queen Salvador de Gaspi, sa ngalan ng kaang kingdom, Filipina, at Shenda, sa the Republic of the Philippines, at sa mga Viewers natin, maraming salamat sa inyong pagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpagpag